Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So a lot of times I get asked, uh, which Linux distribution should I be using for Java development? Now, there is a, a lot of opinions around this and some very deeply rooted feelings. Personally, I don't have a big allegiance to any of the, the specific Linux distributions. Any flavor of Linux generally is going to be fine for Java development. The Java application is going to run just fine under it. But people do have a, a lot, of, lot of strong feelings on it, and there's other things that we have to, to be concerned about. The Debian branches of, of Linux, where Ubuntu is primarily popular from, is perfectly fine, but I don't see uh, Ubuntu a lot in the enterprise. What we do see is the Fedora stack, primarily backed by Red Hat, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or REHL, is very popular in the enterprise. And alternatives driven from that, you're going to have CentOS or CentOS, some people say, is a, a direct derivative. And then Amazon Linux is a, a derivative and also Oracle Linux. So that this whole family of Fedora distributions are, are widely used in the enterprise. And so when doing Java development, I do tend to, to lean towards that family of Linux distributions just because that, that's what I see a lot in the enterprise. And it, it's not to say that it's better than the, the Debian and Ubuntu. It's not, I don't think there's that much difference personally from the perspective of a Java developer. I know there's management and different tools and different reasons to pick the distribution, but from the perspective of a Java developer, either works but you do have broader concerns and the system operations guys are selecting the, the Red Hat family of Linux distributions over Debian more often than not, which is why that's what I, I tend to gravitate towards when I'm picking a Linux, Linux distribution to use for deploying a Java application.